Hello and welcome to another tutorial on Blender. This is Dr. Dust265 and today I'll be using Blender version 2.57. As you can see the interface has seen a complete overhaul since 2.49 and today I'll be showing you some of the very basics of what has changed as well as how to use emissive materials. This is not a beginner tutorial, I will not be explaining everything I do in detail, but I hope it helps. So let's start off by deleting the default cube and shift A, so I'll be using Suzanne, so add monkey rotate X 90 degrees. That way when we go into front view it's actually facing us. And so if you see on if you press N you can see in the properties window that we've rotated 90 degrees from its center of origin and over here in the toolbar by pressing T you can basically control everything and also control the past edits this by using the mouse base instead of hotkey based. I prefer hotkeys though. And so now let's add an empty. Let's select the camera and shift select the empty. Control P to parent it and control T to track to constraint. This way when we're in camera view simply by grabbing the empty and by rotating the empty we can position the camera however we want in our scene. So I'll just put it like that. And also, so now we select Suzanne and go into the modifiers window, add modifier, multi res, and I'll subdivide this three times and hit apply. And in Blender 2.5 series, you can actually handle a lot more vertices than you could in the 2.4 series because it's, it's a lot more efficient, use your computer's processing power a lot better. And so now let's go into edit mode. As you can see it's a lot denser mesh than it was before because we did multi-resolution on it. And so let's select all the vertices and go into the material editor, add a new material and let's make it just a dull color, so just decrease the intensity on both the specular and the diffuse and hit assign, which will assign the material to all selected vertices which at the moment is all the vertices in the mesh. And then let's go ahead and make two more materials. Let's make the one a green color and the other one, let's make it blue. set the shade under shading, set the emissive to 1.5 on both of them. And that's what's going to make our materials actually emit light. And so now all we need to do is by alt right clicking in face mode or by simply selecting different faces, then you can apply different materials to those faces you selected. Simply by selecting the faces, selecting the material, and hitting assign. So I'm going to speed up this process for you. Okay, time lapse is fun. And so now that's that's that for the uh, actual mesh. But let's add a UV sphere. Let's make it 16. And let's scale it on the X axis. Let's scale it on the X and Y axis. And then just plain scale it. Let's delete the faces that are in between us and our mesh. And scale it and just move it around until it's out of our camera view. And 
now that should kind of work kind of like a light box. So actually, I could just kind of move it in like so. Now we can scale it down tighter. There we go. And let's add a material to apply to this. Let's just make it uh, yeah, something with high specularity. That's probably good. Now let's go into the world settings. Turn on environment lighting. We want it very, very soft, so let's do it like 0 0.05. That should do it. And turn on indirect lighting. Approximate with three bounces. And let's do a quick little test render of that on 20%. See how that looks. Okay, so let's actually move this. Ah, see, it's sticking out. Let's move it in more towards the center. And move it into the middle of the view. And let's, let's increase the, the emissive up to 2. Just to get a little bit more glow out of it. And I think that should do it. So let's put this up to 100%, that's full HD. Saving it into PNG format, anti-aliasing on. Get a nice good shot. And I'll speed this up because it might take a little bit. Okay, and that about wraps it up. So now we can just save this image. Let's call it tutorial. Save on the desktop. And yeah, just have fun with that. Just uh, explore, invent, see what you can come up with. I did a bunch of different tests and get creative. Happy blending.